Just realized I forgot to um, put the force node here as well. So let's make sure that we have force on our um, shockwave. So direction force again and again in the Y. And this one doesn't need to be so much, um, just 200, because it's, it's there, you know, it's acting on each um, piece for more than um, two frames. And also, I, I don't want a big explosion. I just want it to be moving the, um, the pieces a little bit. Okay, so let's drop our RPD bullet solver. All right, so in here we need the main pieces here. Okay, let's tidy this up a little bit. Then we need the proxies, which are these. Okay, and we need the constraints. And I also want to, we don't have it yet, but we need a collider for the city. Oh, sorry, what's that? Collision geometry, yeah. So, well, not for the whole city, but I'm gonna build, um, you know, just something for the for the floor around the the um, the city. So let me just come here, and we need to convert this. Well, I don't want this kind of stretched out bit. Obviously, I'm gonna come here, convert this also here. We need normal geometry, and then um, I want um, some. I want a, a floor here with just a hole in the middle so i want the pieces to fall through here but nowhere else right so i'm just going to drop a grid right and make this much bigger it doesn't really matter how big but just big enough do this give me some some divisions there i'm going to bring this down minus 0.8 Okay, and then I'm just going to delete a section in the middle. Let's delete bounding sphere and let's do that to about that size, right? So there's our intersection, and then this is a hole. So I'm going to allow the pieces to actually fall through the hole here. Now, it's not a perfect circle, but that's fine because most of the um, pieces around the edge are not going to fall in anyway. So we'll have kind of an overlap, uh, kind of a, about up to here, right? So we're going to merge these together. And you may have noticed also that this is, um, this is convex geometry as well. We've got a hole. It's not concave. If we consider it concave, then this hole would be plugged. So we will have to simulate this as um, convex geometry, but it's so simple that you know it won't be, shouldn't be a problem. Right. So I'm just going to assemble this so that we'll pack everything that we've got, and uh, let's give it a name so it just so it's different to the other pieces that we've got. Um, we need to create pack geometry, and we need the name on the points. Okay. So we've got pack geometry with the name attributes on the point and it's called so it's different to the other pieces which have the defaults of just piece one, piece two and so forth. Um, which is uh, important, especially with constraints, it's important not to have duplicate um, names. Okay, and then call this out collider, right? And then grab that all the way down here. Go to the top of the list and should be there at collider. Okay, so we got the collider there coming in and then into our simulation. Cool, and you can see it already. And let's see, I want to, we need to set up some of the, the simulation here. We don't need to do anything too complicated. So I'm gonna run it slower, so half speed. So it's gonna be going in slow motion. Collisions. So this is what comes in this to into this port. This will set up the you know whatever we need on that. So I do need to change this to concave. It's not common to do this, by the way. And if you're having problems, it's it's uh, worth it's worthwhile changing this. But I found it worked fine. So um, 
I'm going to leave it on concave and then change this to static object. You know, we've got no movement on it. So do that there. Uh, I do want a ground plane as well. I'm going to drop that to minus two. That will go down. So that will just be, you know, they'll fall through that hole and then land on that on the ground plane so they don't fall into kind of infinity. And then forces, gravity, I'm going to push that up or down, I suppose, to minus 15. Okay, so that's all that we need to do here. Um, and now I'm going to, if we dive inside, we can add some forces. So this is as if we were inside the actual DOP network. So you can plug in pop forces into here and they will act just as if they were inside the, uh, you were inside the DOP network. Well, in fact, we are inside the DOP network, you can see here. So we need um, to bring in those forces that we just made, right? So we need pop metabol force, right? So for the first one, let's find that bomb number one, uh, which should be at the top, out bomb. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab while I'm here before I set it up, bomb two as well. So for bomb one, um, one thing I want to do is just turn off this ignore mass. So then we get some different values for for each piece, right? So the bigger pieces will basically fly faster than uh, uh, smaller piece. No, the opposite. The smaller pieces will fly faster than than bigger pieces, okay? And um, then for this one, I'm actually going to leave it turned on for bomb two because I want a general kind of shape as they as it goes along, right? Um, because we don't really have an explosion in the shockwave, we've just got a bit of movement in the in the pieces. So I just want enough force to move everything a little bit, basically. So uh, we don't need to do anything there. This the the force we've set up outside, and this will just um, multiply it, I believe, in here. So we just leave that at, at one. Okay. And then one last thing, I want to add some drag to this. Drop that in there. Um, again, turn off the ignore mass and set this to 0.1. You know, the, the default is, is much too strong. And that is pretty much ready, I believe. So, um, you know, you can do some tests, run some flip books. I'm just going to cash this out. So just like before, we use the RBDIO. And we use this because it we can cache um, all these different bits, you know, the everything, it kind of packs it all together for us. So we won't need the constraints again, so I'll leave that out. We just want the main geometry and the uh, proxy geometry. We'll, we'll need both of them for the next part. So visualize that. And then I'm gonna save this into my geo folder. Um, Let's see, I don't want the hip name there. Let's call it uh, main rbd uh, dot version one. Copy that forward slash and then same thing again. And then we need dot dollar, sorry, dot dollar f uh, three. Because we've got three, you know, we got up to a hundred, well, hundreds of frames. If we went up to a thousand, need dollar four. A padding, basically, of four digits, and then we'll just do a geo. That's fine. Okay, and then we'll do. Um, we don't need two hundred and forty frames. I'm going to change it now. Just do a hundred frames is enough. Click apply. So there we go. We got a hundred there, and I think that is pretty much it. We're ready to go. So I'll save that out.